Bongiorno. We're here on Wawa. I'm Les Claypool. We're going to talk to you about Primus. Uh, technical name, Primacus Erecticus. Uh, we have our fine Japanese con contingent over here. Uh, Brainamoto. That's me. And Lur. True to the metal, bro. True to the metal, bro. Uh, the first video we're going to talk about is uh, the Over the Falls video, which quite possibly could be the greatest video ever made uh, in the history of mankind. Um, but I could be wrong. I have been wrong in the past. Um, so, here it is. Well, uh, this Over the Falls video, um, for those of you folks that haven't experienced uh, the uh, great fascination of that, that um, Americans have had uh, uh, with uh, Niagara Falls, uh, basically, um, since the mid to late 1800s, uh, there have been many attempts to go over the Niagara Falls in some sort of vessel. They usually say going over in a barrel because that's how it started is they would go over in some sort of barrel. And there's all, been all these interesting and amazing stories, some of them quite tragic, of people going over the falls. And this song uses the metaphor over the falls for, you know, everyday existence or uh, the uh, uh, someone's uh, desire to get their 15 minutes of fame. So what we have here in the video is, a, is we have a fellow uh, whose hairdo is not uh, too unlike mine uh, building a vessel so that he could, he could try for his 15 minutes of fame. Right, Brain? That's right. It's pretty technical, though. I didn't quite get it. But it's a good video. A bird! He is in there! Goddamn fast, never did a 
Tell us the story, Uncle Larry. Tell us the story of how the beginning of Primus. Uh, well, it started about uh, 2,000 million years ago out here in uh, the ocean under a rock. And, uh, you know, that event eventually uh, transformed into something similar to a shark. And then it busted into three pieces. And um, originally the band was called Def Leppard. We were pretty big. Um, a lot of people heard of us. You may have, you know, maybe your parents told you about it. Um, and then after that, uh, we met the uh, Maharishi in the 60s. And uh, we changed our name to the um, Beatles. You know, a lot of people pronounce it wrong. And then um, after that, we started drinking a lot. And here it is, this, you know. Now we're here in Germany. Hello there. You're about to see a marvelous video. Um, it's made by a fellow um, by the name of Tom Waits. And interestingly enough, this video was filmed at the very same chicken ranch that we recorded our rhinoplasty EP at. Um, it's called I Don't Want to Grow Up. And uh, there's some fine cinematography, as you'll see, with Tom erupting from a very small stage in the beginning. and. Uh, then if you look very closely, you'll see Tom in a devil costume riding a tricycle around a small pile of horse shit. And uh, you have to look very closely to, to see exactly what he's, what he's riding around. But it is indeed a pile of horse shit from the old chicken ranch. So here we go. Have fun. Hold on to your seats. E-ticket. I don't want to grow up. Tom Waits. One of his big brown beaver, yes. So we got a chance to, to uh, put on um, big, thick, plastic, prosthetic makeup. Took four hours. Took four hours to put this stuff on. We put it on at six in the morning. I took it off at about two in the morning the following evening. Um, took four hours to put it on and two hours to get it off. And they actually use Elmer's glue, which is like a carpenter's glue, to put this stuff on your face. And they take it off with brushes and solvent. So it was a very painful thing. It was extremely hot and sweaty, but you know, the thing about it is, is my, my skin was silky smooth for weeks afterwards, so um, it, was a, it was about a $50,000 facial, and uh, it, it was a nice thing, but um, uh, we suffered for our art, but I think the video itself came out pretty good, so here it is, Winona's Big Brown Beaver. Little camera. Uh, the My Name is Mud video was filmed uh, out, um, it filmed in a couple different places actually. Um, it was filmed out in a field near, um, near, near uh, Neil Young's house. We found that big oak tree and uh, uh, the, the first night we went to, went to go film there we, were, we got rained out, it was a huge storm so we had to, had to come back and do it at some other point in time when it was uh, actually freezing cold and I had to stand in that pit um, in the cold and um, as Lur sat and smoked pot with uh, a good friend of ours, um, Rob Shapiro. But um, my teeth were all browned out and I was spitting the tobacco juice, which is a very... Uh, like you said, a very uh, interesting visual effect. In fact, Michael Franny, when he first saw the video, he came over and spit at me because he, he liked the, the effect of it. But um, uh, chewing tobacco is a horrible thing. You should never put it in your mouth. It's nasty stuff. So I used um, ground up um, turkey jerky and I was spitting coffee. It was actually actually coffee as opposed to, as opposed to real saliva. Um, and then, of course, we had the the uh, the spa with that Bob Seacock was in with the the large people, the very large people, and they were there to to feed him and 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 make him a large, beautiful, beautiful person. So there you go. That's my name is Mud. In a nutshell.
Let me tell you about a man named Frank Zappa. He's a very fine man. He's very fine. And he's probably um, one of my favorite musicians of all times. What about me, Larry? He's very fine, second to Mr. Claypool here. Oh, I was born. Who is also. Mr. Claypool. <laughs> Frank. Frank. How's that? I've been told that we need to talk about my mustache. Um, this is uh, this is my mustache, and it it, it is a fine thing. Uh, at least I think so. Um, uh, I, I, my father always had a mustache. It made him look a lot like Dennis Weaver. For those of you who don't know who Dennis Weaver is, you should see Duel, Steven Spielberg's first film and probably his finest film. Um, but I'll tell you what, my mustache is nothing in comparison to the man who's running this camera. This this thing right here, his mustache. So hopefully in the editing process, you'll be able to see a shot of, of his mustache because it's a fine and wonderful thing. I'm the bass player. Hot diggity dog, aren't I a lucky fellow? Um, what is it about bass? What, what is it about the bass that keeps us all nice and excited? There's even a new t form of music, drum and bass, which would be me and Brain right here, a little lure, he's out in the dust. There's no such thing as like guitar and bass music or guitar and drum. Not too many guitar bars around. Um, but uh, I'm the bass player and it's a fun thing. Uh, four strings, sometimes six. Get that low end going, get that, uh, get that uh, vibration going to the point where uh, we can keep, uh, keep Brain's bowels vibrating and moving regularly as they should. What, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Mutensteimer? <laughs> ah, yeah, Mukdum. I don't know exactly what it means, but it's supposed to mean uh, like a friendly version of a wanker, and I guess that's what I am. <laughs> and remember, you can't play bass like the guy in Primus without a pair of DC shoes. <laughs> that's right, DC shoes finely crafted by the Taiwanese. <laughs> it's all the shoes. It's all about the shoes. Which member of Primus lost a ball in a um, snowboarding accident? Play and win. Shake hands with beef. Um, I'm assuming you're going to see that video soon, if not next, if not prior. Um, basically, what we've got in, in America, and I'm sure you have it here in Germany as well, is you've got your, your, your folks, I've got friends that uh, try and walk the fine line of uh, being a vegetarian and uh, and not succumbing to their suburban uh, uh, upbringing and, and, and tiptoeing into a Burger King or a McDonald's every now and again. But, but the, 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 the pull is very strong. And uh, when they do, my good friend Bob Seacock likes to say he's shaking hands with beef when he does go to get that Burger King burger or that quarter pounder or Royale, as you might say. Um, so, uh, the video, it, we've got burgers in it, we, you know, we've got uh, the little Daisy Duke character, you know, the first real 
bit of sexploitation in a Primus video. Um, uh, we've got squirt guns, uh, we've got guys balancing uh, spatulas on their noses, and, f and flying musicians. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's one of our prouder moments. So here you go, shake hands with beef. South Park. You soon will have South Park, you lucky sons of bitches. It's, uh, Matt and Trey Parker are the creators of South Park. They're big Primus fans. They gave us a call, asked us if we would do the pilot. Of course, nobody realized that South Park would become this huge, gigantic phenomenon in the United States. <laughs> And uh, it's showing now in um, in Great Britain, and um, I'm told it will be coming your way soon. But um, it's very flattering to be to be um, portrayed with uh, crepe paper and animated. It's a wonderful thing, and uh, it's one of the finer hunks of uh, of film on television these days. Right, right. Yep. This show is dedicated to the client film.
time to go. Dip de do de dum. We're out of here. Later days, Willie Mays, Clinton. He was wonderful. It was orgasmic. Good. Everybody looks good. I'm gonna go change my shorts now. Get a cappuccino so now. Freak out. Orgasmic. Yeah. I'm so yeah. happy. I'm so happy. Thank you.